SFC Fan TV, I'm Sean Middleton, I'm Tyler Steve Malight with today's game Sunderland versus Lincoln City. This current score is Sunderland 3, Lincoln City 1. And now I'll be getting the fans' reactions as they uh, leave the stadium. Could you please like, share, and comment, subscribe to our channel? That would be very much appreciated. Thanks for your time. Sunderland 3, Lincoln City 1. I'm with Reese and Cheers. Reese, obviously, Cheers. Um, First half was absolutely brilliant, really, to be it's fair. I mean, it's five game. games now where we're undefeated, and hopefully we can see the see it off the line and get the three points. What do you make of the game in the whole? Uh, I think that it was great. Uh, I did think Lyndon Gooch would get his hat rick, but uh, it's not looking like it. But uh, Flanagan played quite well as well today. It's probably the best that I've seen him play in quite a while. Uh, I'm really happy with the result today. Um, it was absolutely good. Um, I mean, hopefully, do better um, this season. Sorry, oh, I'm just shy. <laughs> sorry, man, sorry. Like, obviously, uh, and the deal, like, you know, you got to look at it, and it's five games where we've been undefeated. Obviously, we've won the last two. Doncaster coming, and then obviously coming here, and then we've cut the draws in there. But looking at now, I mean, we're, we're one point off the playoffs. I mean, things are starting to look bright and never something for them. Yeah, uh, I think I do think we'll make the playoffs, but. I think we'll get to the playoffs final, but I'm not too sure if we'll win the playoffs final. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we do make the playoffs. So, what do you make of obviously Stuart Donald? I was watching, I was uh, sorry, listening on Talksport last night. Um, it's about five, or five, six o'clock, and he was basically saying that obviously he's selling the club. Um, yeah, what do you, what do you, what's your feelings on that? Uh, I, I'm not too sure if it would be better if he did sell the club, but. I'm not too sure really. Would you like him to stay? Yeah, I would like Stuart yeah. Donald to stay. And I think Phil Parkinson is the right man. Uh, I would see who he brings in, like let's see if he like see if he brings anyone in. And I do think um that um Phil Parkinson is the right man. Mm -hmm. You yeah. do? Yeah. So you think if we stick with Phil Parkinson and, and obviously Stuart Donald backs him, we can get in the playoffs? Because I think I, I don't think the automax is a realistic chance now, is it? No. Do, you, do you think? No. But I do definitely think that we will make the playoffs. Right, okay, what, what, what do you think of the playoffs? Or, or? Um, yeah, I will get the playoffs, but yeah. I think we will win. Do, do you think of keeping with uh, Parkinson's the right thing to do? Uh, yeah. 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 Right. Thanks for your time, lads. Right. Cheers. Cheers, lads. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Thank you. SCFC Fan TV, I'm Sean Midland with Andrew. Andrew, obviously, um, the game's still playing, 93rd minute. Um, Sunday 3, Lincoln 1. It's a good result. And now it's like five games undefeated. This has got to be a positive, uh, positive sign going into 2020, you think? Yeah, um, I thought that it was an overall great performance today, and also like at Fleetwood as well. I don't know why the referee gave the penalty for the Fleetwood game. It was bizarre, but uh, we played well. Doncaster as well, great three points, but an overall great performance, and surely this could get up in the playoffs in the next two games. But this looks to me, Andrew, like it looks like a total different. I mean, the last three games, especially watching us, I mean, we're just look a total different team. I mean, I'm not going to bring things into it where I can be like uh, left wide open, but um, Hayden McGeady, I mean, obviously, I think he's gone in this window. Yeah. Um, obviously, when, you, when, you, when you're in a workforce and, you, and you've got somebody you dislike at work or you think somebody is causing an atmosphere, it causes an atmosphere in the whole of the place. Do you think that could have been the case with um, McGeady? I think he was the bad apple in the side for me because we weren't playing to the standards when McGeady was in the side and I think that we're playing a lot better since McGeady's gone out the team and hopefully we're going to sell him in January. Yeah. I mean, do you still think this this good Andrew? I mean, me personally speaking, I think we need to, we need to buy a few players still. I mean, if, if, if you want to if you want to be if you want to progress and you want to try and get them playoffs, because I think Automax, what do you see Automax is at the window? I don't know. I think that is a plus that we've got to look at for now because we've got too many points. I think what we need is, is a tall midfielder, someone who's got physical, physical power. Presence, right. yeah, yeah, because I think that Dobson, or I don't know if it's Dobson or Power, who's lacking a bit of strength, so I All think right. we need that. Yeah. So do you think, like, obviously, oh, well, we're going to, well, Stuart Donald said we're going to spend money. I mean, I don't know how much, but he's, I mean, looking at it, do you think we need to bring in a striker, midfielder, defender, maybe four or five players? Well, I heard that apparently Blackpool's coming in for Will Griggs, so I think that we need another striker at least. Um, I don't know if Charlie Rice going, but um, I think we need at least three, four new players for me. 
So, realistically, Anfield, do you think we can get in the playoffs? Hopefully. I'm pretty sure that we'll get back in the Championship this season. Confidence or just do it. But this time, get the Wembley in there, get, get ready the hoodoo, and then it's, it's win there and, and get promoted, yeah? Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. Thanks for your time, yeah, Sean, mate. Thanks. Thanks. SCSC Fan TV, I'm Sean Middle outside the Steam Light. Sullivan's just 1 3, 1 against Lincoln, that brings us up to 9th. We're actually a point from the playoffs, so it's, things are looking really good. I'm with Jude, Tom, Billy. Right, lads, obviously it's a, you know, a big win. It's like five games now, we're undefeated. Yeah. Two games off the, two, sorry, two wins off the belt. Yeah. Things are starting to look, you know, 2020 could it be a good year for us. Yeah, yeah, it'll be absolutely class. If we win next Saturday, maybe. Rick and I, it's going to be a yeah. tough game, isn't it? It's going to be a tough game. It's going to be a tough game, mm. Saturday. Yeah. I'll kick the shit out of them, like. Alright. <laughs> Straight up, 5-0 win. Do you think? What are you drinking there? You drink, oh, you see. Yeah. He's on the energy drink, so that's right for you. So do you think next Saturday we'll be top of the table at Wickham? Aye. Not, uh, <laughs> no, no, he's, no, he's not so confident now. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's 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 Probably about same score, 3-1. Oh, no. By 2-0, by half-time. Right, obviously there's been a lot of lot being said about um, Joe Donnell. I was at the talk sport last oh, night. Yeah. Obviously, I don't think he's to but... He basically said he's obviously selling the club. Right. Um, he's very sad about it, but he thinks when the fans turn and they're not 100% behind him, it's time for him to leave. And he yeah. said that from the start. Do you think Stuart Donald leaving is a positive uh, sign for Sunderland or not? Uh, no. no, not a positive nah. thing at all. Because like, it's a transfer window soon. And um, <laughs> now we're even. And we need to get players in, we need money. and. Um, well, if he leaves, we need to get the money off him, so we won't have any. <laughs> Don't have nothing to see. <laughs> um, no, I, I reckon we need to keep him till after January. Then he just needs to like catch him with. Well, I, I, I do think though, I mean, he, he did see her last night. Well, this is what he said. He said there's obviously the investment off the um, the Americans, the billionaires. He said that that nine, ten billion, uh, million when he's got, he said that he can put that in, into the transfer kitty in January. So basically, that that'll not affect the takeover talk. But he basically said that the club will be taken over in the next two months. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. I mean, I know he's not not obviously much with Stuart Donnell fans. He's, he's a he's a back behind him. But Aye. what do you, why do you think he's why do you think he's like man taking us forward? I don't, really? I don't know. I just like it, it's just like no one else is going to come like at the minute. He says there's a few uh, people who want to buy the club. Depends who, depends who wants it, to buy the it, club. It, it can't be someone like, who's like, like shit, like bad. I know, I know you see him, but obviously, he, he, he said, he basically said, well, he said there's a few um, parties who said they, they, were, they were willing to take on the club. I mean, he said he's willing to take a, he's willing to take a hit, but I don't think he will. I think he bought the club for 40 million, but I think he's going to want a bit of a profit because he's, he's putting out a half in, in it, so you know, he deserves that at least, doesn't he? Aye. Yep. Are you confident, are you confident lads, in going forward? Aye. 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 Very confident. Playoffs. I don't know what Partington's the right manager, like. He's not. I reckon, nah, 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 you can't just go on not. two He's won two games, like, in a row. You can't just go on that. Like, two, two seconds. And, and, uh, wrap, wrap it up, but you quickly, like, if you've got a bad apple, like, and I, uh, he's obviously, and I, uh, all the years, solid 6, 15, 14, 15. Uh, right. Uh, Fair enough. Like, if you've got somebody at school, right, who you dislike, or somebody in the class who's a bully, Right, I'm, not, I'm not just seeing. I'm not seeing that that's, that's the case. I'm just hypothetically speaking. Aye. If you've got somebody in your class who's a bully and he's picking on you, right? Right? And anybody, nobody likes a bully, do they? No. But if he's bullying on the players and he's making all of them feel unhappy, do you know what I mean? It makes you wonder if he, he was the bad apple in that stranger room. Now he's gone five games since he got. To, will he get to the under 23s? Five games undefeated, two two wins off the bounce. Will it look like a different team? He's nothing, are you still not, not sure? I don't know. Sure. I'm, I'm, I'm I, I, I don't know what I do. I'm going to need to go on if that, right. like, right. if, if that like, actually has been happening. And he's like, he has, like, right. it's, it's, it's just, awful. It's, it's not, 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 He's been for me like, right. Anyway, cheers lads. Yeah. All the best for 2020, yeah. alright? Yeah. Right, cheers, thanks very much. Hopefully cheers. we can get, get back to Wembley and get promoted there, eh, lads. Yeah. Ah! Yeah. Ah! Yeah. <laughs>